Hello, this is Chris Menard. Today I'm going to discuss animation in PowerPoint. So if you're using PowerPoint and you quite and you can't get a handle on animation, hopefully this will help. So right now I've just got one slide in here. I'm in the second placeholder. Control Enter will give you another slide. I'm going to type in Agenda. Control Enter. In a real life, I would be talking my I'll be putting in my talking points. For example, budget. Uh, staffing, new products, but I'm gonna just do one, two, three, four, five since we're in training. And this step is not required, but I just want to make this look good. So I'm gonna go to design, design tab, design ideas. Let's see what it gives me for this. How about this one right here? That looks pretty good, right? So does this one, but I'm gonna take that one I'm gonna close design ideas so now my bullets actually have icons so here we go I've got agenda which is the title I've got a list of bullets going across here I'm going to insert some shapes it doesn't matter what shapes I'm going to put in a rounded rectangle so there's our third item I'll copy it I'm gonna copy it by holding down the control key clicking and dragging so there's a third fourth one more fifth so here we go with animation animation is what happens on the slide you're working on transition is what happens when you go from one slide to the next slide so i'm only dealing with animations in this video so animations i'm going to select the very first rounded rectangle i put in and under animations, let's do a fly-in. The second rounded rectangle, by the way, I got a number one next to the first one that I animated. It's letting me know it's the first item that's going to be animated. The second rounded rectangle, if I hit the arrow for more, we have three main groups. Entrance, emphasis, and exit. Just so you know this, and I'll discuss it later, entrance, the object will not show up until you click when you're in your slideshow or hit the space bar. Then it'll appear and bring it in. So for the second one, I'm going to do, under entrance, I'm going to do a float in. There's that one. The third one, though, I don't want to use an entrance effect. I'm going to use uh, emphasize. If you notice, if you think about it, we have green for entrance, yellow for emphasis, and exit is red. I'm going to use grow and shrink. So I've animated three objects. One, two, three. I'm going to go make agenda, a split, and then I'm going to make the bullets that I put in here. We'll make that one a grow and turn entrance. So I've animated five objects on this slide. They're numbered one, two, three, four, five. This is just my suggestion. Whenever you're dealing with animation and multiple animations on a slide, go ahead and turn on the animation pane. It's in the group advanced animation. It'll show up on the right hand side of your screen. You can see the numbers one through five. So here's the issue now. The reason you want the animation pane is what I really want to happen first is agenda. So when I click agenda, it actually selects it over here in the animation pane. I'm going to click and just drag and drop. And you can see that I'm going to make it the very first one when I let go. So now it became the number one. Let's do it again. Notice that when I click here, it's the fifth one. Drag and drop it. I want it to be the second. And then the rest are in the correct order. Also in the animation pane, I have green for entrance and the yellow for emphasis, which matches up right here. Which matches up right here. There you go. Here's the issue I'm going to have, and I already know this. When I run my slideshow and I'm doing my presentation, everything that's an entrance in green will not be on the slide until I click, which is what I want. But that number, the fifth one, because it's not entrance, 
when I select and run the slideshow, it's going to already be there. So let's see if I'm right. So let me go run my slideshow. And because I'm recording, let me just do browse that individual window. That's correct. So here we go. I'm going to run my slideshow from slide one. I'm not going to run slide one again after this. Click. I go to slide two. And look, that number, the fifth animation sitting there. Let's see if the rest work, though. Click. There's the title. The bullets should come flying in and turn. They do. There's a fly in and there's a float in. So everything else is correct except this one right here. So here's how you fix this. I'm going to select it. Back to animations. You may be thinking just go make it do a grow and turn here. But I don't want to do a grow and turn. I want to do a grow and shrink. But remember, only entrance will not show on your screen when you do this. So if I change it right now to something, watch over to the right when I click on fade. It actually changed it to fade. It removed one animation and replaced it with the other. That's not what I want. So I'm going to do an undo. So if you want one object to have multiple animations, you're going to use under advanced animation, add animation. And there I know I need to do an entrance, so I'm going to make it appear. So I'm hoping now that I have six animations. Object 5 and object 6 are the same object. I'm going to simply put the appear before the emphasize that I did. I'm going to select number 6 now. And you need to just simply tell it to start with previous. So let's go give this a shot. I'm going to run the slideshow from the current show. Perfect. It's not showing up now at the bottom. Left click once, twice. There's item 2. There's the third. There's the fourth. We're in business. You don't have to do this one, but here's another tip. Everything's correct, but I do want a little bit of time between when it appears before when it grows. So I'm going to select the second one on number five, and I would go down to timing. Do you want to do a delay? It's still coming in with the previous. Sure, I would probably do a couple seconds. And then the duration, I might, make, I might make that three seconds. Click OK. And by the way, in real life, these boxes would have some text in them or something. And they don't have to be rectangles. So let's give it one more shot, and this will be the end of the video. Click. Click. Title. The bullets. Third click. Fourth click. And here we go. Should be a delay. Excellent. It's working just the way I wanted it to. Feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I do at least two or three videos a week. And have a wonderful Sunday. Thank you for your time.